The weekend is a time of restoration, and you must absolutely practice restoration of your soul so that you can go and do and be more when you're busy. You, I pray, will take time for restoration this weekend. I pray in Christ you rest, and in Christ you are restored. An important key to restoration was given by Jesus in his invitation. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. As we speak the words of Scripture, let us think of them as an invitation from Christ, and it is an invitation for us to have a complete restoration. So many times we sleep at night and then we wake up tired again, and we find that our fatigue is accumulative. Restoration is accumulative also. Even small periods of restoration add up, and they make a profound difference in our life. Well, this weekend will be a time of restoration for you. The Christ Spirit is always attentive to you, helping you to find and accept that which is for your highest good. To rest in the Christ presence means freedom from activity and labor. It means peace of mind, but it means so much more. As spiritual beings, complete restoration comes from getting in touch with God and allowing that recharge to begin to happen. It happens silently, but it happens in a profound way. In the presence of Christ, we can release all tension. We can release all stress. We can release all of our strain that we are having getting through certain days. In Christ, we are refreshed. In Christ, we are renewed. In Christ, we are strengthened and revitalized. Restoration is more than a re, redoing of our day. It is not just creating and reestablishing a former good. The Christ Spirit's restoration brings forth a whole new dimension, a new good to match our new level of appreciation and our new level of understanding. I pray today that you take Jesus' words to heart inside of you. You come to God. And if you are laboring, if you're heavy laden, know absolutely with certainty, especially after the experience, that God will give you rest.